Hey everyone, welcome back to effect for you channel. Today, we are going to create, fast 3D photo slideshow. One of my subscriber ask me for this, so let's have a look. So let's get started, as usual. First create a new composition, 1920 by 1080, I call this main comp. Then create a new solid layer, and change the solid color white. This is our background layer. Now create new composition, this is our image placeholder 1 comp, change width 1000, and height 800 pixels. Double click on rectangle tool, to create perfect rectangle, we don't need fill color, so set fill color none, and increase the stroke size, around 75 pixels. This is our frame layer, here we have some images, so drag your image into the timeline, and resize if required. Now go to project window, and duplicate the image placeholder one comp multiple time, I have duplicated around 20 times. Perfect. Then select all placeholder and drag into the timeline, and make all layers 3D layers. Then go to 2 view horizontal, now adjust the all layer. First, we need to adjust some image around the composition. So select the placeholder one by one, and move Z position little bit. We need to cover the composition, so also move the X and Y position. I move this part a little fast, so that you don't have to wait. Perfect, after adjust 5 to 6 placeholder here, now select another placeholder, and move Z position far from the camera. Make sure, keep little gap between the two image placeholders. Again I am moving this part a little fast, so that you don't have to wait. Cool. Now we need to add our main photo, center of the composition, so duplicate any one placeholder, and rename the placeholder, main image 1. And drag the main image into the timeline. Turn on 3D layer, now replace the image here. We also need to replace our other image placeholder's image, so open placeholder 2, and here I have some images, so replace your image. And adjust according to the composition. Similarly, replace all placeholder's images also. I am skipping this part so that you do not have to wait. After replace all images, our comp look like this. We need to adjust the placeholders, so that our comp not look empty. You can adjust and rotate according to your choice. Perfect, it's look good to me. Now we need to add shadow effect to all layers, so select any layer, and search drop shadow effect. 
increase the distance around 50 and softness 150. I think we should decrease the distance around 40. Cool. Now copy drop shadow effect, select all layers, and paste it here. Now are all layers as shadow effects. Perfect, it's look good to me. Now create a camera. As usual, I am using 35mm preset camera. Then create a null layer. Convert null into 3D layer, and parent your camera with null layer. Select null layer, hit P for position, go to first frame, and move Z position little close to the camera, and add a keyframe, then go to around 10 frame forward, and move the Z position, perfect, then go to around 1 second forward, and add a keyframe, then again go to around 3 frame forward, and move the Z position little bit close to the camera, Let's see how it looks. Cool. Now create outgoing animation. So go to around 3 second forward. And add a keyframe, then again go to 10 frames forward. And move the Z position. As you can see this is our camera. We need to move our camera, through all the image placeholders. Let's see how it looks. I think we should move the last keyframe few frame forward. Perfect. Select all keyframes and easy ease them. We also add wiggle expression on our camera, so open transform, Add expression on point of interest. So hold Alt key, and click on stopwatch icon. And type wiggle expression. Copy this expression, and also add expression on position. Perfect, it's look good to me. Select all layers, and pre-compose them, this is our scene 1 comp. Now go to project window and duplicate the scene 1 comp. Then drag scene 2 comp into the timeline, and move the layer few second forward, when scene 1 animation end. Now we need to change scene 2 start animation. So open scene 2 comp. Select null layer, and hit U to show keyframes. So go to first frame, and move the Z position, until we reach the last image placeholder. Cool. And we don't need these keyframe anymore so delete them, and also delete the last keyframes. Now we need to change our main image. So go to project window, and duplicate the main image 1, then hold alt key and drag main image 2 over the main image 1. Now replace your image. We also adjust for these other image placeholders, so that our scene 2 look different than scene 1. So select any one image placeholder, go to project window, and duplicate the image placeholder 20, hold alt key and drag image placeholder 21, over the selected placeholder in timeline, then replace your image. Perfect. 
You can also shuffle the image placeholders. And if necessary so you can replace the image placeholder. And change your image. As I said you can shuffle your image placeholders. So that our scene 2 look different than scene 1. Cool. Let's see how it looks. I think we need to change the start animation, go to first frame, and move the Z position, little far from the camera. And move last keyframe, 5 frame back. Perfect, it's look good to me. Now create end animation, so go to around 3 second forward. And add a keyframe. Now what I want, select all these placeholder. And move behind the camera. Then go to 10 second forward. And move the camera all the way until we reach the last image placeholder. Cool. I think we should move the last keyframe few frame forward. Select all layers and turn on motion blur, also turn on motion blur of scene 1. Now add light leak footage into the timeline. Change layer mode normal to add. Decrease the opacity around 80%. And also apply the wiggle expression on opacity. Then drag flash footage into the timeline. Change layer mode normal to add. And move the layer, in between scene 1 and scene 2 layer, so it will work like a transition. Decrease the opacity around 90%. Now we also add our text. So create a new composition. And I called this text 1. Width around 800. And height 200 pixels. Now create a new solid layer. Double click on rectangle tool to create perfect rectangle. Increase the stroke size around 35 pixels. And change the color. Now select text tool, and type your text. Go to scene 1 and drag the text comp into the timeline. And convert into 3D layer, and also turn on motion blur, move Z position little close to the camera. And decrease the scale little bit. Hit P for position. Go to around 2 second forward, and add a keyframe, then go to first frame and move the Z position. Also move the both keyframes few frames forward. And adjust the keyframe according to your choice.
cool. Select both keyframe and easy ease them. Perfect. Go to main comp, and turn on the motion blur of all layers. Our animation has done. Hit zero for render. Thanks for watching. I hope you like the video. If you like the video please share it, like it, and subscribe our channel. For more tutorial I'll see you in the next video.